Before I get into this video, I want to remind you, we're on our road to 100,000 subscribers, and if we somehow get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we'll give away a Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED, a Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition, our Collector's Edition, and one of those pins from PAX East and probably some other stuff. Thank you so much for being here, and let's get into the video. All right, so looking at the Tears of the Kingdom situation, there's one aspect of the game a lot of people still have questions about, and they want to know if there's some validity to it. And that has to do with dungeons being present in the game. And we're not talking like Divine Beast-style dungeons or Zonai Shrines or something like this. We're talking about actual dungeons. And to date, we haven't had any really trailer footage or gameplay footage that confirms dungeons exist. But we do have something that we need to pay attention to. And again, I'm going to warn right now that this does get into spoiler territory. I'm, I'm just full out warning right now. This is based off of the art book. It does deal with spoilers. And I want to make sure that I'm very, very clear about that so you don't see anything here that you don't want to see. Now, that being said, we have to glance at some stuff from the art book now because so much of the art book was shown in the actual gameplay footage. The gameplay footage, we got the 10 minutes from IG Aonuma. He put out there and, and, and all that gameplay, a whole bunch of it was confirmed in the art book. So what this does is add validity to the rest of the art book. And this is why we're having this conversation today because I believe the art book at this point reveals one of the dungeons that we're going to be playing in. Now, I want to give full credit to this over to Split Bolt over on the Tears of the Kingdom Reddit thread. Uh, we'll put a link in the description to that Reddit thread uh, where he grabs some images and gives a little bit of an explanation. So this first image you see here is just of a giant open room, right? Nothing really too fancy here. Could mean anything. But then you get to the next image and you see what appears to be a fan blade at the bottom of a tunnel blowing upwards and some lines being drawn. I don't know if these are like enemies shooting things at you or if these are just, you know, destinations or puzzles you need to solve. You see a door to enter. You see potential doors to get out of that are currently locked. So there's some sort of wind-related puzzle here in this long shaft. Now, again, this doesn't have to be a dungeon, but it does have a similar theme to the prior image. Then we get to the next image, which shows a giant turning crank that is, you know, probably going to be reversible with the recall ability, which is probably how you get over it. Uh, but you see Link standing there in some sort of new armor suit. And again, this has a very similar feeling to the prior two images, as if this might be one in the same dungeon. But, of course, if you're going to have all this stuff happening, you're going to need items. And, and why, what, what kind of dungeon item could there be? Well, how about this flying gliding suit image? This could very well be what you need in that wind tunnel section with the fan blowing up so you can constantly stay afloat while doing certain things. And you might go, I already have the sailcloth. Why do I need this? Well, the sailcloth is pretty limited because you can't actually do anything with it versus a gliding suit like this. So I do think there is some... Uh, notability here in possibilities at least and then of course we go over to the pin set from the special edition the collector's edition and there appears to be a symbol on one of the pins that depicts something very close to a japanese symbol for wind suggesting that this could be a wind based dungeon now of course this is still just speculation there's nothing 1000% for sure in here. Uh, but the person who came up with this did note things like, you know, the walls would probably not be climbable and all that stuff. I think in general, this probably is a sneak peek at a dungeon in the game and is basically a pseudo confirmation that dungeons will be present. Now, this doesn't tell us how many there will be. Will it just be four? Will we have eight, nine, 12, 15? No idea. But what we can say is that these at least appear to be, if not from the same dungeon, at least images of a dungeon or dungeons. And I'm really excited by the prospect of these. Of course, they could just be massive, massive Zonai shrines and, and we're maybe overblowing things a little bit. But personally, from just a desire standpoint, from a logic standpoint, from the fact that technically Breath of the Wild had dungeons, they just weren't that great. So maybe we should start being like, hey, they're not just going to ditch dungeons. They're going to actually step it up and make them even better. 
I think that is perfectly reasonable. Uh, a couple things to remember about Breath of the Wild is, while the final file size after all the DLC and everything was around 12 gigabytes, reality is that the original release at launch had to fit on an 8 gigabyte Wii U disc. So they really had to rein things in to make it fit on that Wii U disc, let alone these smaller cartridge size on Switch. They don't have to do that this time. The game's about double the size, or pretty close to double the size of what Breath of the Wild was at launch. And look, I, I think that's going to lead to a lot more content, a lot more stuff happening, maybe even double the content of the original Breath of the Wild. So if that's the case, that it would you know be reasonable to expect that dungeons would have got expanded upon, and these images were merely an example of expanding upon those dungeon concepts and doing some cooler stuff, maybe even bringing dungeon items back, even if those dungeon items are a bit more organic, such as, hey, now you get a new uh, get-up, a new suit to wear, then it gives you this extra glide ability, which you can imagine would be super useful when you're sky falling, right? So you can glide to you know really far away areas of Hyrule from where you fall off from the sky islands because you have a glider suit, but... In this case, it's actually needed for certain puzzles within the dungeon. So I think there is a lot of really neat possibilities here. I think it's also really cool to imagine there being more and more dungeons. Of course, this isn't definitive proof. We do have some rumors that exist out there that there would be some dungeons up in the sky, which I absolutely think there would be some dungeons up there, or that that giant golem beast that, that slams down my link is... Uh, uh, one of the bosses or something like that, right? Th these are rumors that are floating out there uh, we've talked about in the past, but I just want to see uh, dungeons come back. I'd like them to be themed in some sort of way. They don't necessarily need to be like the same elemental fire, water, wind, although that does appear that this might be a wind-based dungeon. Uh, but I would like to see themed dungeons come back. But more importantly, I'd like to see the unique boss battles. I feel like that was the thing that maybe hurt Breath of the Wild the most with their dungeons. It wasn't that each one thematically felt similar. After all, they're all Divine Beasts. But that the boss fights didn't feel unique enough. Outside of Thunder Blight, the other ones really felt very, very similar. And even then, they were all aesthetically the same. I, I would just like to see... Uh, varied boss encounters and have reasons for the boss's existence again, uh, deep story reasons and stuff like that. And I think we are probably going to get that in this game. I just think Nintendo's holding back. After all, IG Aonuma said in the gameplay thing that, hey, I can't show you all the changes. There's way too many. There's so much stuff happening. Uh, you know, this is all we can show you for now. I mean, they're going to show more later, but there's not going to be an ability to show everything. You'll have to play the game. And I... I, I honestly, I think this is one of those things they're just sort of keeping really close to the vest. But I do think they will unveil, if not this dungeon, a dungeon before the game comes out. I just get this feeling the way the marketing cycle is going, give them another couple of weeks, we're going to hear about it. Previews are going to come out eventually, and if there's dungeons, I'll probably mention them in the previews. And yeah, we're, we're about to get information overload here over the next 30 days. So. What do you guys think about the idea of this potentially being a dungeon? And do you think dungeons have returned? Because to this point, it is still unconfirmed if dungeons are actually in Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.